Hello, welcome to this video on centralized versus decentralized decision making. So by the end of this business, we should be able to differentiate between a centralized and a decentralized approach to decision making and analyze the pros and cons of each approach. So let's start off with what is a centralized and a decentralized structure. In a centralized structure, key decisions are made by senior management. So for example, here we have head office giving out instructions to the different stores. So it's very much instructions are given down the organization approach from a central head office. In a decentralized structure, decisions are made both by senior management, but also local managers. So here we've got more of a two way communication going on between the stores and head office. It's more guidance and feedback. Try do this and listen to what they say rather than just giving out direct instructions. So in a centralized structure, the key decisions are made by senior management. The advantages of this approach is that senior managers have really good control over the decision making. The marketing message, the appearance and the quality of the product is likely to be the same in every store because instructions, very clear, direct instructions are being given. And as a result, we'd like to have economies of scale, which keep costs low. Some disadvantages, local conditions will be ignored, particularly if these are large businesses. We weren't thinking about local market conditions. Local managers' experience will not be taken into account in decision making, and local staff may feel alienated and demotivated. Changes like to occur very slowly because it has to come through head office and it has to be rolled out to every store at the same time. So these are perhaps more slightly old fashioned traditional ways in which we will organize the workforce within our business. Decentralized structure, decisions are made by both senior management and local managers. So there's more of a two way com combination and people are interacting on a slightly freer basis, the more autonomy and responsibility passed to local uh, stores or branches. The advantage of this approach, local managers and staff are empowered, they have more say, more responsibility, and maybe more motivated. Local conditions and differences are taken into account. More responsive to changes in the market on a local basis, which may give them a competitive advantage. Some disadvantages, they might lack the overall skill or experience to make good decisions. That's why they're perhaps not part of senior management. Scope for economies of scale are quite limited. If everyone's doing something slightly different, we cannot buy in, in bulk, for example, to the same extent. And the corporate image may not be consistent across all outlets. Different stores doing different things because they've got some freedom to do that. So let's think about some centralized versus decentralized structures. Now, McDonald's, for example, would you say that's probably going to be centralized or decentralized? Well, McDonald's are very centralized structure. They have a head office. You give very clear instructions about the brand image, the supplies, the menu, how to operate and run the business. They want a very consistent brand image. The staff tend to be fairly low skilled, so they need clear instructions coming from head management. And also they can benefit from economies of scale as a result. What about this type of business? This is a screenshot from Mad Men, which is a series about an advertising agency. Now here it's very difficult for head office, for senior management, to give very clear instructions to people making adverts for clients about what exactly they should be doing. Advertising by its very nature is quite a, a creative process. You need good relationships with your clients. Every client has slightly different needs. So a centralized approach doesn't work here. We have to hand responsibility down to the individual uh, members of staff or teams operating with the advertising agency so that they can uh, come up with um, localized, customized products and services for the clients. That's going to be the best approach for this high skilled, quite dynamic industry. So in this video, we've looked at the difference between centralized and decentralized approach, and we've looked at the pros and cons of each approach. That's it. Thank you very much for listening.